So we're doing another show. Mike, where are we at, buddy? Man, we're out here, Monk Coliseum. Checking oh. out uh, Stance East 2023. Do you think it's gonna be like roll call? It's gonna be exactly like roll call. <laughs> I'm gonna go see uh, some imports. Hopefully we see some stuff that we nor no <laughs> Hopefully we see some stuff that we don't normally see. Maybe a Lamborghini or a McLaren, you know? One of those macaroons there. Who knows? Either way, let's see what we can see. Welcome to Ohio Stable Garage. truth i don't know anything about these cars but you got sparko seats got a detachable wheel hub el manuel five speed got a couple of you know am stuff roll cage looks pretty neat yeah i like it bro. i like it you like it i like the little antenna on the top little tiny antenna oh yeah look at that little nugget <laughs> as for hot hatches it's pretty neat really it's a lot different than the volkswagen over there Pretty cool. Yeah, look at this beautiful ground. Right at the top. I like it. Hey, Mike. So, what do you think about this fella? LS. He's a uh, very nice car, for sure. Yeah, definitely in uh, better condition than mine is. You think it's uh, you think it's a little bit quicker than a 3021? Yeah, slightly quicker, but <laughs> we can change that. <laughs> Got one of them fancy, expensive cars there. Bi Turbo AMG. This might actually be that uh, Mercy Lago combination that we saw before. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a nice band. Looks pretty sporty. Not gonna lie. Mercedes, or you know could be Studebaker if it had that S on the top. It's true. <laughs> it's like a Porsche-esque look on the back. Pretty neat car, really. More so an exotic than a lot of all these other ones. Let's keep on looking. Got an old Skyline. Car or something, not quite entirely sure. I'm not a big Skyline guy. Mike, what do you think that is? R34, R35, R36, R37, R38, or R39? Why are you walking away? Why? Why are you I'm trying not to out. associate with me? It, it's an R3010, isn't it? I don't want to talk with you. R39? R40? Let's see. What's your tail? It's an R32. There you go. R3200? Whatever you say. Buddy. Oh, okay. Man, it's not a Ford, so you don't know. Right? No, 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 I don't. Legend has it, these engines go in Mustangs. It's true. I learned that from a, from a documentary I watched on Japan. Oh, is it? Yeah, it was called Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Mike's thinking R32. Oh, we got a big turbo, single turbo, RB26. Pretty neat, five speed. Nice enough car. It's like pretty clean, I like it. Man, this one makes a thousand horsepower, bro. Thousand horsepower. Has about the same size turbo as the white one, it looks like. So this is, if that's the RB32, this is the, no, if that's the RB26, this is the RB2600 because 2,600 horsepower. That's how that works. If it's 1,000 horsepower, you just add the zeros. Man, that's exactly how it works, bro. Yeah, that's, what, just math it out, that's really. what I heard. If you divide the RB and you take the coefficient of the 26, it actually maths out to about 1,000 horsepower. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. Right-hand drive, five-speed. Old-school bride seats, those are kind of cool. I like those. But he does have the meat to put down the power to the road, so. Possible 1,000 horsepower? Hard to say. Really small little V-dub. Little tiny diesel engine. What kind of weird frame rails are those? Oh, you know, just basically the squishable kind. Oh, my favorite kind. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> A big old bar. Small little tiny turbo hiding right there. See him? Oh, yeah. There he is. 83 Volkswagen Jetta, by the way. Pretty nice. And she's a five-speed. Very 80s. Very 80s and a rooftop tent, and it's for sale. Car here kind of looks like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is, right there. There's the super right there. I got the super right on my hand. Automatic right hand drive, it's a very nice color, though. I quite like it. 240 that looks like it works. Yes, yeah, sir. He's even got the spare wheel in the back. Little five speed, little race wheel. 
spare wheel on the back, like Mike pointed out. A little bit of uh, patina on her. You know he uses this thing. I like it. Yeah. That's I like cool. that. When they're a little bit rougher around the edges. Sun fade. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. Same. Very cool. Hmm. Mike, Mike, I'm not very mechanically inclined. What exactly? Why is there a hole there? What do you think? <laughs> and it's to uh, relieve compression pressure from the, uh, the diesel there? No, it's to catch pigeons. The oh, pigeons yeah. go in and then the pigeons come out. Is that right? This is how it works. We learned this a while ago. Oh, you're right. Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's pretty shiny, not gonna lie. Billet. Very cool. <laughs> pretty aggressive on the tent. Five speed. I like it. Looks pretty cool. Turbo setup. So what kind of engine is this guy, Mike? Uh, SR20? Is that, like is that, that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, you're on money there. That's a Sylvia, some kind of 1314. Yeah, very cool. Mm. He's got a Ford Performance uh, catch can in there. I didn't even notice. Where does it say that? Over there? Crawford. Oh, Crawford. Not Ford Performance. I just seen Ford. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. I like Subarus. He even put a little screen on his turbo. He does. Pigeons can't go in now. Yes, sir. Very cool. This Subaru, too, because it kind of looks like an old rally spec. No, I quite like that body style. Looks really nice. I like it. And uh, Dram. Yeehaw! Newton truck. <laughs> Lots of trucks. Lots of trucks. A Ford Ranger, home baby. Swedish missile, right here. Is this his inspection? Look at that. Out of Fast and Furious. Here we go. Cavalier. Oh, 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 baby. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> no shift now. Buddy, what do you think of this Cavalier? This is the freshest car at the meet, for sure. <laughs> freshest car at the meet, for sure. Oh, creative one. Little feller hiding. He's not a lightning. Extended cab. I think he wants to be a lightning mic, but it's not the right uh <laughs> it's not the right type of truck. Oh. Kind of a cool little wagon. Look at this thing. Got a big old tip. <laughs> Very cool. I like it. Very neat. Yes, sir. Yeah, very. I was gonna say clean, but it's very simple. I like it. Just simple, black, pretty good. Nice car. Should be a 4G63 from stock. Should be, but you know, likely LS powered. Like, you know, how everything else goes at the end of the day, Chevy powered. He's got a straw so he can drink milkshakes as he's driving. <laughs> or he can make milkshakes as he's driving. What do you think, Mike? Making milkshakes or drinking milkshakes? Definitely drinking them, driving something like that. <laughs> Here we go. We got an Integra with drag slicks. Pretty big turbo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not skilled enough to tell you what kind of series Honda that is, but looks pretty fast. Not gonna lie. Yes, sir. Five Cutlass Supreme. And you know, she's got all the cloth. Quite like it. Nice color too. I just got a soft spot for Subarus, Mike. This is how it is. Low, couldn't even fit the engine. <laughs> yes, sir. Guy gets pulled over by the cops, you know, you're not allowed to have any stickers in your wiper area, but if you remove the wiper and put a duck, and put a duck yeah, you're fine. Those stickers are see-through, you can see through. It covers the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, 
don't even know what his flag is. Static club. Yes, sir. <laughs> Skins in general, I like them. Mark II B L I T. I don't think we got these around here. She's uh, packing a little bit of heat, just a little bit. Wagons in general, pretty neat. Bold SS, pretty wild wrap. Little tiny turbo hiding at the bike. Nice. Pretty clean. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yes, sir. There you go, Mike. What do you think about uh, Stance East this year? What do you think? It was a car show. That's true. It was definitely a car we show. We were there. We checked it out. <laughs> yeah. Now they had some neat builds and stuff. There was there was definitely some some interesting takes on, on car culture there for sure. But it was uh, it was uh, I passed the time by. <laughs>